Hey guys, this is Brandon. Just doing a quick update on my tank. We recently moved into a house, so I just moved the tank. Um, I'll go over that process a little bit with you, along with how, I've ever, how I have everything set up in the house. So, we're in my basement. Um, come on over here. Walk around. And there it is. Got it all opened up. So, got the tank set up. Uh, Rockscape, a lot like what I usually do with it. Um, I try to do other things, but it always ends up kind of looking the same. So um, everything has lived. Unfortunately, so has the green hair algae that I am battling. Let's try to zoom in on it. There it is. So trying to get rid of that. I blame that due to my lack of water changes while I lived in the apartment. Um, recently just cleaned out the refugium, gave the skimmer a good cleaning, um, so hopefully we should see it go away shortly. Uh, see if this camera will focus, there we go. Um, got the radions going, uh, along with the MP40, I'm working on getting a second one, but not yet. I got it doing a nice little wave thing here, um, corals seem to be liking that. I have added a few things, a few SPS corals, got like a blue bird's nest there and then an acropora up there. Um, this guy is actually growing pretty good. Um, I did lose one of my acros during the first move. Uh, so yeah, um, I'll zoom in on a few things here so you guys can see the tank. My yellow, yellow bellied morpho doesn't like moving so much, but hopefully this is the last time I'm moving this tank for a long time. So in order to move the tank, basically ripped out all the rocks, drained all the water into buckets, got my buddy with his trailer, cleaned it out before bringing it back down here, brought it down here, filled it up. I'm going to upload pictures of the process as well. Um, let's see if my goby's out. If you're looking, uh, the radions do make that nice shimmer that I talked about in one of my other videos, reviewing the radions. But yeah, now that I have the tank all moved, I can finally start adding more coral and more fish. So hopefully I can start st stocking this reef a little bit better. Go back down to the sump here. Close this up. I did get a new stand here. Lights things up a bit. Still need to organize all my cables. Give it a little bit of a cleaner look. With this rockscape, I did actually get rid of a lot of rock. I wanted to make sure I had a lot of caves. I really like caves. <laughs> and I think my fish do too for hiding spots. Tried to make it as open as possible to reduce dead spots in the tank. Yeah, this guy's just, if you watch any of my earlier videos, this guy's just really exploded. Huh? There's the goby. See him back there. As you can see, the hair algae is still there. It, it has reduced ever since I moved into the house. I've been able to keep up on the water changes, but it's still there. 
add a little bit of sand too. Slow down for you guys here. This aquarium is a 90 gallon marine land. Corner overflow. I really wish I would have gotten the center overflow. But too late now, so doing the best with what I got here. Oh, let's see if I can focus here. Sorry for the jitteriness, I am recording this with my iPhone, so. <laughs> Whole shot of the tank there. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip the video, show you guys my setup for mixing the water and whatnot, so I'll be right back. All right guys, so this is the other side of the basement. Um, my setup. I'm actually going to mount the RO unit to the wall here, um, but I have this going outside where the spigot is, uh, shooting down. The bad water gets drained into here. I also have a very long hose that reaches all the way out that door to the tank, so when I'm doing water changes, it just goes right down the drain. Um, don't got to worry about getting buckets out. Fresh water goes into the screen bucket here. Um, then I have a pump that goes into the white bucket, and that is where I keep salt water. Um, and the pump basically circulates constantly, so it's mixing. And then I have a, another hose somewhere around here that pumps water from this into the tank when I'm doing water changes. I don't have an auto top-off unit yet. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how I would go about doing that with uh, how far away the buckets are from the tank. But, yeah... Pretty simple, not really anything too crazy. So guys, like I said, that's just a quick update on the tank. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off here. Um, I will be posting more videos as I add things, show you the progress on the tank, things like that. Uh, I will also, in the beginning of this video, attach video or photos and captions for the tank move. I didn't do a video over it because my hands were full of salt water and didn't really have the time to make a video. But yeah. I will keep you guys posted, let me know what you think, um, and I'll respond to any questions you post in the comments. Alright, 